Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing reptiles and amphibians. Why group these two large classes of animals together? Well, mostly it's because Linnaeus did it first, and now everybody else is doing it, including us. Heck, it might make even more sense to group reptiles with birds, but that's a topic for another video. Either way, most people put reptiles and amphibians together, even though they aren't that closely related in terms of ancestry. Reptiles and amphibians do have some similarities. These include the need for an external source of heat to raise their body temperature, the ability to drop limbs in order to escape predators, the shedding of the outer layers of skin, and the ability to change color to aid in camouflage or dazzling displays. They also differ in that amphibians require water in which to lay their eggs, and usually undergo metamorphosis throughout their lives, whereas reptile eggs would drown in water, and reptile babies are usually born looking like miniature versions of their adult forms. Amphibians also breathe through their skin and only have simple lungs if they have any at all. Reptiles possess scales and breathe using lungs, even snakes, who almost all have only one functional lung. If you haven't already, check out the AFF Reptile and Amphibian playlist, which covers creatures from toads to turtles. We hope you learned something new, and we thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.